Hi, welcome to Ask Jay. I'm Jay Adelson. Um, we're here to answer your question about starting businesses. It could be tech, could be anything. We don't care. Just keep it coming. It could be even your your own lemonade stand as far as I care, but just uh, send your questions to AskJay at Revision3.com. Let's get started. I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision3. I've founded a number of companies. I've been hired as a CEO, and I've even been fired as one. For example, Equinix is a company I took public in 2000, and now has a market cap of over $4 billion. In 2008, I was incredibly honored to have been selected as one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world. My goal is to pass on some of this knowledge to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by Gamefly. Today's question comes from Jenny in San Diego who asks, what's the real difference between angels and VCs and which should I choose? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. You get all of this information out there about angels and super angels and, you know, venture capitalists and seed funds and all this noise. The reality is, I hate to say it, you take money where you can get it. And if a VC is offering you money or an angel is offering you money, yes, you, you, you basically take it if you can. Now, if you have choice, if you have an amazing idea, I know that in the case of Dig, we had this website that was growing pretty well before it actually needed to raise any money. So in that position, you have choices. At that point, it's important to understand. So let, let me uh, list it out for you. Angels are basically individuals who have their own money to invest. It's, it's usually you know, investments limited to, I'd say, you know, $10,000 to like, you know, maybe $250,000. And there are some big name angels and then there are some real, you know, sort of quiet behind the scenes angels. You know, you've heard names like Ron Conway in, in Silicon Valley and others. These are big time angels who invest larger numbers. Um, what's nice about those, those type of investors, they tend not to jump on your board of directors at first. They tend to be more connectors. They help introduce you later to venture capitalists if you need it and so forth. And sometimes they're very active and they'll work really hard for you because they're going to get a big return because they're investing very early. Then you have venture capitalists. Venture capital firms, remember, they're investing other people's money in your idea big billion dollar funds that they've raised from what they call LPs, these big investors. And so those type of uh, investors typically want to take 20 to 30% of your company. They typically want to get big, you know, 10x to 100x returns on their investment. And so they're going to join your board. They're going to try and steer you towards the most massive potential exit possible, which you might not want to do. So you have to think hard before taking that money. Um, and then there's a number of different, uh, I guess you can call in-between type of investors. Super angels is, is a, a popular term right now, where you know sometimes it's a combination of their own money and other money, but they invest larger amounts, like a million dollars in your idea. I like these in-between investors because they give you all the benefits of, of angels uh, without all the high pressure on, on super return. Uh, that a VC has and gives you more time to figure out your business before you execute. So in a minute I'll, uh, I'll give you some more details on how to make this choice between VCs and angels but first I wanted to thank our sponsor. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Ask J fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com J. Today's homework assignment is to, to figure out whether or not you're in the angel time or the VC time is figure out what the least amount of money is that you could take for your business. I want you to take a piece of paper and write down what defines your next milestone and success at that next milestone. Like maybe it's a release of your website or maybe it's a certain number of customers and figure out literally what the least amount of money is. 
If that number is less than $100,000, you shouldn't even be talking about venture capital. The only time it should, you should start thinking about venture capital is literally when you're in this business structural phase where you're thinking about numbers that are north of a million dollars. And I know these are crazy numbers and you think that they're almost inaccessible, but I'll tell you, any one of you could build a business that raises millions of dollars. So write it down, figure it out, and that'll help you make your decision. So that's it for today's show. Again, thank you for, for sending us these great questions. We want more, so keep them coming to AskJ at revision3.com, um, and we'll try and get them on the air. And uh, don't forget, you know, you've got nothing to lose. Find that screw that's loose and listen a little bit more, and I'll see you next time.